Good morning, friends. I just wanted to take a minute to show you this amazing tree. With, if I was a kid, I'd want to play on it. It has all these different areas where you can swing and climb, and it's just really unique in its um, trunk. Hope you can see it. You pierce through, and you can see the lake behind it. But this reminds me also of life, that life can be messy. It can seem like it's going left and right and all over. And and we would want the journey to be just steady and straight and calm and no hills, no valleys, just a nice little plain, a nice little walking place. Not too much difficulty, not too much heat, no enemies surrounding me. That's what we would like, but life looks a lot more like this tree. It can get messy and seem like it's all over the place. And I was reminded this morning because I got one of those early morning emergency calls where someone maybe didn't have blood pouring out of them and broken bones, but what truly needed spiritual intensive care. Intensive care, that means there was vulnerability and, and timeliness was of the essence. And um, I'm so grateful for the grace of God and so grateful for the Spirit of God and the power of His Word and promises and how powerful love is to disarm us, to strengthen us, to pour in oil and wine, blessing and truth, freedom and life, and expose the unfruitful works of darkness, reprove the enemy, and set back a life, just almost like those defibrillators, just boom, boom. Um, the laying on of hands, boom, boom, bringing life back into the body, bringing back life into the individual. And just as you would watch a, a CPR movie and watch how that resuscitation takes place, sometimes that happens in the spirit. Um, and that the enemy is on, he's on attack. He's looking to bring down anything that would be walking strong in the Lord or have a testimony that the Lord um, is going to use in their lives. And he attacks that. And um, families and marriages are one of those. And um, anyway, I said all that just because I want us to be reminded of how vulnerable we are and also what a blessing it is to know the scriptures that say those that call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. That the name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous can run into and find safety. That the name of the Lord is like an ointment that it's poured out and that Jesus draws near to the brokenhearted and the afflicted. Look around your world, my friends, because there's CPR and intensive care that's needed. And you may not feel like you're certified or trained, but the Holy Ghost is using you and he wants to touch bandage, pour in oil, pour in 